Hello everybody and welcome back to the Bread and Burt YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a budget cool shirt cooler out of nothing but stuff you can get on Amazon. Damn. So for those of you watching this channel that aren't familiar with circuit racing, asking what is a cool shirt this is a cool shirt this is just a cool shirt these guys have two hoses on them that go into little manifolds four into one and they basically pump ice water across your body to draw away heat when you're in a three layer fire suit which is essentially a snow suit when it comes down to it as far as how much heat you can get out of it they are very very hot so for guys like me that aren't you know full-time racers that aren't used to that kind of heat we use a cool shirt and then you just run it out that there's a double zipper on your suit you can run it out through those and then you just hook it up to something like this now this is a budget cool suit cooler let's get into how it's made how it works and how you can build one all things considered this is actually a very simple build there is a pump which is a 500 gallon per hour rule bilge pump and a cooler you need a 5 16 inch line that comes off of the pump and that is this guy here and what i had to do was i had to drill a hole through the side of the pump and install this fitting and then i ran this line up along these guys and it comes out right here that goes into a camelback quick disconnect and the reason that you can't use this at the shirt itself is because that is not a breakaway should you yank on it it'll hold on you have to use the cool shirt fittings because they break away in the event you have to get out of the car quickly and you don't have time to disconnect properly. Now, that's it for the feed. The return is basically the same thing except it loops around and it basically ends right here underneath the main drain pipe. And getting to the main drain, inside of the bilge pump there is a one-way valve that does not allow water to run back into it should it be in a boat. This one is not in a boat, so what I have done is I took the one-way valve out of it, I ran it up to this ball valve, and this ball valve just goes to this pipe that dead ends, just ends, right? So we can take that, throw it out the door of the car, crack this baby open to drain the ice water out. Well, at that point, it wouldn't be ice water anymore. It would just be warm water because as the ice melts, the water level goes up. So for those of you that aren't familiar, you have to drain this back down quickly, but the cooler has to be secured to the car, so you can't just dump the cooler. So what you can do, open this ball valve the pump will then begin pumping through its main drain here and will basically bring the water level down then you throw more ice in close it up driver goes out pretty simple now this pump is just riveted to the bottom of the inner tub so you can actually disconnect this thing and lift it off of its mount you see it moving but the bottom is staying just staying in there i don't want to pull it all the way out right now because it's pretty well tied up in there but that is riveted to the lower um, part of the tank the drink pump is just a fountain pump that goes to this bottle. Now, this bottle is a stainless steel, uninsulated, uh, just like sports drinks bottle. It's a triple tree, you can get it off Amazon. Like I said, all of this you can get off Amazon. It is riveted by these bands to the side of the tank. I reinforced it with a bunch of uh, epoxy. Looks like some of it may have broken loose already. But the main thing is that it's just a wedge in here so that when you're uh, loosening it and tightening it it'll uh, you don't have to tighten it very much but loosening it might be tough it's just to reinforce it now that little pump right there pumps to this guy and that'll go up to our helmets so this thing pretty simple all things considered and it has a drink tank in it now why is the drink tank in here when we were racing last year we had an igloo cooler that was its own drink tank so we had to put ice into it as you can imagine our hands were not very clean so we created basically our own ecosystem in that thing, and it was horrifying in there. I did not want to drink that water this year. I did not want my team to be drinking that water this year. I guess you could call me the water boy. So how I went about remedying the problem was to put an uninsulated steel tank, stainless steel specifically, into this tank. So that way, when we fill this with ice water, this is submerged. 
We just take the cap off of this. We take an unopened bottle of water and dump it in. We put the cap back. We should not have any hands-on contact with what goes in this bottle. And then I had to drill a little hole in the top to uh, keep it from hydro locking because it would. It actually seals up very tight. And then as you press the button on the steering wheel, this little pump right here runs. It pumps out right here, goes to your helmet, and you're done. So this is a cool suit cooler with an integrated drink tank in it. Now to get to the connector on the side, that is a DTM4 connector. That you have to get off ProWire.com. This is actually a full mil spec harness on this thing. It's fully sealed and contra wound. Um, you don't have to do that. That's a little overkill. So you might find a simpler way to run your harness. And it is sealed up, but if you look, I cut that hole by hand pretty close. And the nice thing is, if you need to get the outer tub off, all you gotta do is flex this out a little bit and it comes off after you take these guys off, of course. So yeah, pretty easy to get this thing apart. Um, but definitely um, the rivets through the clamps, this was a really good idea on my part, um, not to toot my own horn, but like it's, it's very useful because it's tied down there very tight and it doesn't uh, rip around like the old one does and try to pull the uh, pump off of its stands and rip it through the side of the plastic because then if you rip this pump out, there's holes from this tub here to this tub and then in your styrofoam, it'll fill with water. So you don't want that. So the other thing is when you put your rivets in this thing, make sure that you seal them up well, just in case. They should seal honestly pretty well on their own, but if they don't, you know, you put some sealer on it and make sure that it's nice and tight. So I realize as I explain this thing, it seems like a very simple job to make. Um, make no mistake, this was actually a lot of work. It took me a couple days to make this. Now granted, I pay attention to like every single fine detail. Every single rivet has to be perfectly sealed. Every single wire has to be perfectly installed. Like, it's it's very you know i get a little over the top with the, the fine details you could make this a lot quicker and a lot easier this is just how i made ours it's going to work really really well i've already tested it this little angle cooler is actually a really nice product i hope that this helps somebody if you're trying to make your own because a uh, cool shirt charges 275 dollars for theirs which still is a great deal, but for budget race teams, it's tough for us to come up with that kind of cash for, for something that we can make. Now, granted, they're shirts. You can make a cool shirt, I guess, but this thing is actually really nice. It's got super fine stitching on it. The, uh, the hoses are stitched up really well. Uh, this thing's been through the washer quite a few times, but uh, this shirt is a very nice product, and I don't think you can do better. Um, they are expensive, but the shirt is definitely worth the money, and I'm sure the cooler is as well. But for something I was going to be jamming a drink pump into, I didn't want to uh, risk putting, you know, four rivets in another hole through the side of a cooler that was going to cost, you know, a fortune to replace. So this cooler was the route we had to go for our team this year, and I'm sure if this thing wears out, we will just get the cool shirt cooler and then install our drink tank into it as well. So. So with that being said, that is the end of the Cool Shirt Cooler build. This was a quick video. Um, if anybody has any questions, drop them in the comments. Um, if you end up making one like this, hit the like button. Uh, this, was a, this was a pretty fun project, and I hope that everybody else gets the same enjoyment I did out of it. It's kind of cool to have something out of your mind and, you know, show up in a cooler. So anyway, catch you on the next one. Thanks for tuning in.